Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Karsha Golden, and for this special unboxing, we are looking at the One Ring starter set from Free League Publishing. It is essentially the latest version of the Middle Earth role playing. There's been a long tradition of role playing in the Lord of the Rings franchise, and this is one of the latest ones that have come out. Before we get in, if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, it costs you nothing and it helps us out immensely. We are trying to get to 1 million subs on YouTube. We also have a Twitch TV live channel where you can catch us doing live shows and live content. And we're also on Twitter so you can catch up on pretty much everything we're doing on Twitter while it still survives or on Goblin Cave TV. Let's get into this. So it doesn't have a table of contents in the box, but it does have one at the back. So I just wanted to highlight that here. It's got all bits and pieces all listed there. It is about so big and just bigger than A4 size. So easily fit on shelves. There we go. So also um, quick starts. One of my annoyances are quick starts. Also a quick reference. The quick reference is on the inside of the box. I mean, yes, it has one, which is great. But I mean, it probably could have been better. Could, or probably could have been in a better spot, I should say. Now, ignore all the dice we've got here. I was one of the Kickstarters of this project, so we can probably take away these dice. And this is left. This is what we're left with. So we're left with two D12s and six D6s, and that's what you'll get with the game. Um, you can buy the black one separately. I also got some spares because of the Kickstarter campaign. So that's the dice there. They are they are custom but they also are clear to read, which is quite a plus. Now, um, we have cards. Um, there are 30 gear cards here, so arms, armor, things like that. We keep everything in the packaging because we play online. We don't play offline. So I keep things essentially packed away like that. There are also six tracking cards. These cards, it's hard to see in the packaging itself, but that's a bit better. It essentially shows you where your stance is and what you're doing so you can actually easily indicate what stance you are mostly used in combat and they're double-sided so there you go and there's six of them so we go into the rules just go sideways so the rules is decent quality printing it's staple binder um, it's not a big book so I wouldn't say staple binder is a bad idea I have an annoyance there's no table of contents. I mean, how can you miss a table of contents on a book like this, especially one that's so small? The rules itself, the rules themselves are only about four pages. So we have the structure of the game, the shire, things like that. And here's the rules. One, two, three, four. That's all it. The layout is really nice and easy to read. And, and you get the same type of decorations throughout it. It's not as bright and colorful as something like Blade Runner or Alien, but it's a it's simplistic style actually works for the product. And it's the same all the way through with very simple drawings and all the artwork kind of fits the setting and fits everything else in the book. So that's the rule book. The Shire book, again, has a sim similar style of printing, but because of the thicker book has a proper binding and the Shire is all about the Shire itself. This is the history of the Shire and all the places around the Shire. The Shire is where you are in this game. So you are playing the Hobbits essentially and doing adventures as Hobbits for the starter set. And so why not have details on the Shire? And I mean, this is a big book of details in the Shire. What, 50 odd pages of details on the Shire. Nice quality. I do like how the three books look side by side and that's just just a little bit of a touch which free league publishing kind of do so let's get the next one so here's your adventures there's a quite a few adventures in this they are very hobbit styled adventures so you're not grand adventurers you're hobbits you're, you're curious but hobbits don't do adventuring no that's that's wrong hobbits don't do that they hide but amazing artwork absolutely amazing artwork Again, there's no real, there's no table contents. It's, it's a small thing, but come on, it's a small thing. The adventures look really good. I've read into a couple of them. They are very entertaining in how they're written 
and I think they'll play out in incredibly fun ways. You have eight pre-made character sheets. Just going to get them in. There you go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The character sheets are double-sided. You get a nice picture of the character plus a brief bio it's not too much but easily skimmable to go okay this is how you play this character the character sheets are very basic if you understand the uh, mutant year zero system you can understand the character sheets quite easily uh, mutant zero system is a very simple system pickup for every system freely publishing kind of makes they have a variation on that so it's not exactly the same as mutant year zero but it's still using the core year zero system underneath it. So we have that there. I will say with the how they've changed the system, I like the bare bones of the system. I think that they've added more complications that they needed to when they've adapted it to this system. I think they could have done more. But anyway, we'll talk about that in the in the final thoughts. We have maps. So that's the map of the Shire in the box itself just like the quick references in the box but we have a beautiful double-sided map huge high quality printing double-sided map of the Shire um, and of Middle Earth so of course I've flipped it up the wrong way very very high quality but let's get to the final thoughts no tokens this is a game which doesn't use tokens. This is absolutely theater of mind in the style of play, in the style of writing. The rules, which I kind of briefly mentioned, I think they overcomplicated. Over they just put in more exceptions than I would like. The base core rules of the year zero are really, really easy to get into and easy to pick up. Unfortunately, I think that they've gone a little bit too far with complicating things. I mean, when I say complicating, it's still super easy. This would be still rules light or to rules medium, and where I would call Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition rules heavy. So that's my scale there. I would still put this on the lighter end. I just think that they've put more complications in that they needed to. They could have kept it simple, and they just went just that a little bit too far for my liking and for my thoughts. But it's still an easy system to pick up. It's, the stories are really, really funny, and they're written to the world. I have spoken to a Lord of the Rings, fan, well, I would say fanatic, but um, enthusiast would be the polite way of putting it, and shown them artwork of this game and told them bits about it. And they came back to me and said, it sounds like that the people who made this or converted into a role-playing game really knew their stuff and really loved the like the property and the ip and so that was a big of like quite a good endorsement for me to hear if you want something different to dungeons and dragons if you're looking for something that's actually quite fun and are you really big fans of say lord of the rings ip the hobbit etc this is a really cool one i mean this is where orcs came from originally so why not so check out free league publishing They've got it for sale on the website. It's not really in a lot of the VTTs, but you can get the physical copy from their website. And I, I think it's a great set. I can't wait to actually play with it. There is some ways of using it for Roll20, and I've started putting it into Roll20 just for my personal use for the, for the studio, because I really want to run this thing, or at least playing it. So that's it for me today. That's it for this one. Keep it nice and short. Always remember, failing forward is often the most fun, so bye for me, bye for now.